So I'm still a pretty big fan of Vue.js. However, a new contender has entered the ring and that contender is Livewire. And I am actually going to show you in this video how I can convert a Vue component into a Livewire component. And I'm gonna show you a real live example because I'm actually converting my website from using Vue.js to Livewire. So before we jump into it, let me go ahead and give you a quick overview of how the site is structured. Each of these blocks are components. So this uh, weekly top users, these latest questions, and then the whole feed section right here is a one component. Then we have a popular topics component, the user card component, and then up here, I think I have like a search component and a header component. So the easiest one for me to convert and to kind of show you is going to be this latest questions. And all it does is pull the latest questions from the questions section. So if I go over here to questions, it's just going to pull the latest questions right here and then link to that specific question. So it's a fairly simple component and I think this is a perfect use case to show you how I can convert a view component into a live wire component. So let me jump into the code real quick. And if I go to my resources assets, JS, this is where I store all of my components. So I do have a component called, I think it might be recent questions. So we have recent questions right here, and maybe I'll just change this to latest questions. So we have recentquestions.view, and it just loops through the questions and then provides a link. And then we also have recentquestions.js, and this just does a simple Ajax request. So let's go ahead and turn this into a Livewire component. So let's jump over to the Livewire docs, and we'll figure out how we can create a new Livewire component. Installation making components, and of course we can use PHP Artisan make Livewire and then name our component. So I am going to say PHP Artisan make Livewire, and I know that I want my component name to be latest questions. So I'm just gonna say latest questions. Okay, so we have our component controller right here, and then we also have the component view. So how about I just copy over some of the HTML from this template into my latest questions.blade.php. And you can see that this template tag is our root element for our Vue.js component, and we actually have an empty div root element for our Livewire component. So I can go ahead and just remove this template and remove the JavaScript. Okay, so already I know that instead of using view syntax, I can actually just use blade syntax. So I can say at for each, and typically we're going through question in questions, but I'm going to say for each questions as question. And I can remove this V4 right here. And then just say end for each. Okay, so we're looping through our questions and we have the link right here to the question slug. So I know that I just want this to be question arrow slug. And then over here we have the question title. So again, I'm going to change that to using the PHP or the blade syntax and we'll say question title. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the code that we need for our latest questions controller. So if I go back to my recentquestions.js, I'm actually getting all the recent questions from this Ajax request. So to find out where this we're getting the data, I need to open up my routes web.php questions slash recent. And that is going to the API slash questions controller and the recent method. So I'll say API questions controller and the recent method. So I'm just going to grab this code and then I'm actually just going to put this code inside of my Livewire latest questions controller. And I'm actually going to put this inside of the mount function. So we'll say function mount. And if you're not familiar with Livewire, make sure to check out the documentation and you can see all these lifecycle hooks. We have the mount and it says that it is run once immediately after the component is instantiated. So this is where we need to add our code so that way our Livewire view component has access to these questions. So I'm going to paste that code in there. We have questions equals this question 
And this is actually going to be super easy and it's going to look really nice too. So I'm gonna say public questions. And I want this questions to equal, and I'll just use my select statement there. And I actually don't even need any of this code. I think I just had to format this because I needed that specific format for my view component. But I can actually just, there's probably a better way to do this, but I could just put this inside of the latest questions loop right here. I could say that I know this is going to go to question slash the question slug. So I save that there and I come back here and actually just remove all of this right here. And I'm not sure what's gonna happen once we load the live wire component, it could explode on us, but, but we'll see here. So I know that I need to change the component inside of, I believe that is my home.blade.php. Yeah, and you can see I already converted one component right here and here's my recent questions. So we'll say live wire weekly top users. I'm just gonna copy this. And we know that the name of our live wire component is latest questions. So let's put that in there. Let's just go ahead and test this out and see what we're dealing with. So if I reload, we're getting app HTTP live wire question not found. And of course I forgot to bring over some of the use classes that we need. So it doesn't know where to find question. So again, we go to the API slash questions controller because this is where it was before. So we just need to figure out the namespace for our question. And I have this right there. I'll pop that over. We'll go back here and reload. And what do you know? Instead of a view component, this is now a live wire component. And it functions exactly the same. And we've cleaned up so much code. And I think just moving forward, changing each of these view components into live wire components is going to be super easy. And the Ajax functionality that Livewire does uh, just makes this super powerful and it's gonna make it even more fun to build out new features on my website. So now what this means is that I can clean up all that latest questions view code. It will make my app.js a little bit smaller and eventually as I take out all of these view components, my app.js is going to be super small, which is going to be good for SEO, my page speed, and the user experience. So that was it. Thanks for watching me kind of uh, go through this process of converting a view component into a live wire component. Uh, again, I'm still a big fan of view and uh, I'm really liking live wire and all the power that it has behind it. And I just wanted to give you a real world use case of converting a view component into a live wire component. So until I see you in another video, I hope you have a good one and I'll talk to you later.